Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Umbreon Messiah and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2. Today we begin uh, Chapter 5, The Escape, <clears throat> and we start off trapped in a very white room because the door didn't open. Uh, getting out of here is so simple, I'm not even going to bother to commentate it. As you can tell, Wheatley is not the brightest chap in the world. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal. Ugh. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. This part is really just a lot of moving around and looking at the scenery. Be careful, be careful. So I don't really have be much to say. Let me light this jump for you. Ah! Uh, This looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. So, basically all we have to do is follow Wheatley's instructions and navigate around, and I'll point out fun things as we get to them. Now, these are actually like the templates for turrets. We are actually in the turret construction facility. So this is actually somewhat, somewhat cool. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But, uh, guess who the foreman went with? <clears throat> Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job tending to all the smelly humans. Hey! The, the um, sorry, that's, uh, no, it's like smelly. Just, uh, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. You were being sensitive. Uh, the smelly humans. Jerk! Anyway, um, I believe in the, the audio commentary that the vacuum tubes are meant to represent the utter inefficiency that is Aperture Science. It's incredibly cool, but managing it in any sort of uh, cost-effective way is completely and utterly impossible. It's basically just, uh, I would say, a, oh, maybe a microcosm of what Aperture Science really is. Inefficient, but cool as hell. Alright, well, let's just follow his advice and use our portals to get up there. We. Oui. There you are. I've got to get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? I believe I can. Pop. Up, oh, there's another one. There's another wall over here. We. Oui. Tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their <clears throat> folklore. <laughs> wonderful. They're very colorful. Ah, yes. As we get here, we get to a um, very interesting animation of a turret being put together and then boxed and shipped off. Once again, in the audio commentary, they explain that the turret production facility is yet again in ample example of how Aperture Science operates. Inefficient but cool as hell. This section is where they put the turrets together, box them, and send, it off, send them off to shipping. Unfortunately, up right below this is supposedly the... Uh, I don't remember exactly the Aperture Science term for it, but it's the room where they disassemble the turrets after assembling them. So the turrets never 
actually make it to stores. What do you know, huh? And here we have the central vacuum tube. Just gonna make our way down here. Thank you, Wheatley. Ah, uh, ah. Well, thank God for the long fall boots. And we'll meet a ceiling door here, and we'll move on to the next part of the chapter. And I will take a swig of water. I might even make take a potato chip and eat it. Yes, I went there. Interesting story, actually. Last night I was playing a game of Heroes of New Earth, and I had someone comment that I sound exactly like the ghost from StarCraft. Oh no, not the ghost, the Wraith. Sorry. And I had an amusing time doing Wraith quotes and making people laugh, so I feel like a better person today. Alright, as we step through this Emancipation Grill, we will enter... Well, as you'll see in a moment... Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Essentially where they melt down defective turrets. How sad. Uh, it being Aperture Science, though, they name it something utterly hilarious so you can laugh at it. Anyway, we're going to use these two portals to get on the turret redemption line. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. And since, uh, obviously I'm too tall to get through into the furnace, we're just going to jump off the turret redemption line here and hop a ride on to the next one. Now, once you get on this line, there's a, a turret over here that you can pick up for an achievement. Uh, I don't remember the achievement's name. I might look it up later. Uh, it's something to do with redemption. Redemption averted or something. Uh, let me see if I can... There we go. And it begins muttering some very cryptic things. Actually, I believe that was the gift of fire, but, you know. isn't much else to do with this turret and though I usually and though I usually get very cruel and move them through the though I usually get very cruel and move them through the uh, emancipation grill I think I'm going to be nice to this one just for you guys and leave him here now if you've been listening to that sound that's coming out from the other side of the emancipation grill this is the turret test firing range where they test out how good the turrets are. Now, you can sort of see... <laughs> one of the funniest things in the game, the defective turret. Which are... Wisecracking... Very amusing... There's really no way to describe a defective turret. I'm just not even going to bother. Just listen for yourself and see what they're like. They're... Uh. <laughs> anyway, the point of this is to uh, slip in while the defective turrets are firing and slip into this room using your portals and not getting shot. Which will lead us to... This room. Oh my. This is the turret testing center, where they use a template to test to see if the turret is acceptable or defective. As you can see, the defective turret solution is ridiculous. <laughs> Hi, Wheatley. Turret Control Center. Thank you very much. 
We can't just walk through the door because Wheatley is somewhat incompetent. And so we're just going to have to use the portal and grab the master turret to succeed. Oh. Ow! Actually. Hmm. I do have an idea. Saving this turret's bacon makes it very, very, very appreciative. That's nice. Response. That's the power of manners, people. And slip that in, and we're good. Now, I just want to bring up an interesting point. Here you can. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Oh, look, the door's already open. Anyway, uh, ignoring Wheatley's incompetence, I just wanted to bring up an interesting point here. Over here is the screen that uh, tests, or well, rather, um, reports the effectiveness of the turret that it's that's in the master slot and in the scanner slot. I just thought it was very interesting that, according to this, it still recognizes that the master turret is defective, but it's still going through with it anyway. About a minute. Was there any sort of announcement before I come, like a like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind, or like a hacker alert? I mean, yeah, fair enough. The important thing is it's open, but it's just mentioned. <laughs> All right, then. She can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Okay. Well, as we go through here, this is uh, employee the employee daycare center. Now, we can't actually go this way. I guess we have to go through the employee daycare center to get there. So let's do it. The first thing you're going to notice about this room is that it's not particularly very Aperture Science-esque. It looks sort of like early 90s, late 80s. Kind of interesting. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realize they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Very excited to read it. Huh. Well... Apparently, they all brought in potato batteries. That does not bode well for Aperture Science. Hmm. Potato Power. By Jessica. You can't really read any of her notes, so I'm just gonna see... Another potato battery. Literally. Hmm. He wasn't really kidding, was he? Hmm. Huh. Data. Conclusion. By... I guess that's Perth, or... Oh, no. Beth. Oh, huh, okay. What's this one? Yes, wow, potato battery. Oh, uh, huh, okay. And who did this one? By Alex. That's a strange way to spell Alex. And this one is by Laura. Hey, look, it compared it to a lemon battery. 
How neat. So the volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labour written all over it, hasn't it? I'm not saying they're not as good as the professionals, you know, they're just they're just a lot dumber. Well, that one's by Heather, and Wheatley is, of course, being Wheatley. Ah, this one's still running. That's actually kind of impressive, given I have no idea when Take the, Your Daughter to Work Day was. When this one was by Catherine. Oh, oh whoa! The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. Oh, wow. That is scary. And impressive. And gives us a lot of food and potatoes. I wonder who made this one. Wait, what? I think I just had an existential crisis. Huh. I don't really know what to say to that, other than I'm thinking a little too hard now. Oh, Wheatley, thank you for taking my mind off that. And once again, we have another ceiling door, and we move on to the next part of the chapter. I'm not going to lie, this chapter is actually kind of a long one, so... Hey, at least it makes up for me not updating in over two weeks. Or almost two weeks, rather. Not quite. Alrighty. As we move through here, we see the neurotoxin generator. I knew we were going the right way. This is the neurotoxin generator. A bit bigger than I expected. I'm not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go investigate. All right, let's. Wow. That's dark. Alright, well, let's get on this elevator. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must... Oh, now look at that. That's a big laser. Probably best to ignore it, though. Just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting are going. Could be somewhere important. Although, it does give me an idea. What if we stand here and let the gentle hum of the laser transport us to a state of absolute relaxation. Might help us think of a way That is it's not a right. subtle hint at all. It's honest, but uh, I'm afraid it's all we got at this point. Barring a sudden barrage of speech in your direction. Improbable. Uh, what are you doing? We did all that battle. Well, uh, let's see what's it. Good news. else getting the feeling that Wheatley's straining himself? Well, let's ignore him for the time being and look at the... Hmm. I see pourable surfaces rising up and down the neurotoxin generator room. And I do believe that's a pourable wall over by the laser that Wheatley mentioned. Hmm. Let's do something with this, shall we?
Are you kidding? I hate you so much, Aperture Science. So much. Wheatley? What's going on? Oh my! Reassuring. All right, well, we're out of the vacuum tube and back in aperture science. So, let's move through this dilapidated structure. Not all of it has recovered, obviously. Hmm. Let's pop that over there. And, oh! GLaDOS Emergency Shutdown and Cake Dispensary. Keep unlocked. Hmm. I think I'm going to save the game right here. Just for, you know, no reason whatsoever. Ah! I was. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. What the? Wheatley! Wait, what? Yeah, like I'm taking advice from you, GLaDOS. Oh. No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. 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 Yes.
don't listen to us, alright? It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, alright? We wish to press that button so that she won't kill us. In person, I need to stay on it, Associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done, but it's a list that I am making. She's quite so desperate, isn't she? But I think I can outsmart her. Pushed. That's creepy. the uh, ride, Wheatley, and I'm out. Oh, God. 